Hello, I'm Bob from Biotime and welcome to Biotalk's new episode on uh, thyroid stimulating hormones. Uh, thyroids, how much do we know about thyroids? Let's talk about it today. Thyroid disorders are common conditions worldwide which occurs when the thyroid gland, a small butterfly shaped gland in front of the neck, is not working properly. The two main types of thyroid disease are hypothyroidism and hyperthyroidism. Both conditions can be caused by other diseases that impact the way the thyroid gland works. Around 750 million people globally are thought to be at risk and hundreds of millions living with thyroid condition right now. Up to 50% of these living with thyroid disorder are undiagnosed and pregnant women estimating 20.7%. And people may be needlessly struggling through their everyday life without knowing the root cause of their symptoms. Many symptoms of hyper and hypothyroidism are the same of those of other conditions, so it can easily be confused for something else. Symptoms usually develop slowly and individuals may not realize that they have uh, medical problems for several years. And common symptoms such as If you have a thyroid problem that is not treated properly, serious health complications can result. Untreated uh, hypothyroidism might lead to a number of health problems such as uh, irregulated heartbeat, foot digestion, uh, breathing issues, uh, development of the body and protein formation, also the cholesterol levels changing. And hyperthyroidism can also cause a range of complications including thyroid storm, risk of stroke, irregular heartbeat, uh, shortness of breath, and loss of consciousness, uh, as well as weakened bones. Hypothalamic thyroid release hormone, or TRH, stimulates thyroid stimulating hormone, and another one, TSH, release from the interior pituitary gland. TSH binds the cell surface receptors in the thyroid gland the thyroid responds by secreting T4 and T3 that are transported. Most thyroid disorders require blood test diagnosing with a thyroid function test. Determination of the serum or plasma levels of thyroid stimulating hormone is recognized as an important measurement in the assessment of the thyroid function. It can tell patients if it is hypothyroidism or hyperthyroidism. TSH screens any thyroid disease during pregnancy as well as in newborn babies. The test can also detect a thyroid disorder before you have symptoms. If you found the video useful, and don't forget to subscribe our Biotalk channel, I will be looking forward to seeing you next time.